Different soils need different methods to clean them off the brushware, so we've broken these down into four categories. Examples of dry, non-sticky residue are flour and some types of milk powder concentrate. You can easily loosen the powder from the bristles by knocking the edge of the brush against your hand. For this type of soil, the best way to clean brushware is to dry clean them by vacuuming the residue off with a powerful vacuum cleaner. This includes the headlock components of the handle if it is a broom. If the vacuum cleaner is not dedicated only for use in the same area as the brush where you are cleaning, then you should keep a separate vacuum nozzle that is only for use in that area and use this to avoid cross-contamination from other zones. Examples of dry sticky residue are sugar and other powders under humid conditions which cannot easily loosen the powder off the bristles by knocking the edge of the brush against your hand. For this type of soil, the residue needs to be wet clean to remove it and this is achieved by rinsing the brush head in warm to hot running water between 40 to 60 degrees Celsius. Likewise, the handles and handle components can be cleaned in this way. Do not put brush heads through a dishwasher cycle to achieve this step. The bristles will come out looking like they've had a very bad hair day. This is not irreversible, but will take time to get the bristles back straight how they are supposed to be. This will be the same for any high quality brush that uses the polyester PBT type bristle. Examples of wet, non oily residue are meat and vegetable scraps and dough. The best way of removing these residues is by cleaning them off with a strong jet of cold water. Always work from the brush stock and jet towards the end of the bristle. This way it will not drive the residue further into the bristle clump. You can use hot water to do this, but as a rule of thumb, the hotter the water, the less pressure you should use. This is to avoid the bristles becoming misshapen. For handles, clean them in the same way by hosing them down, but ensure that you slide the locking collar upwards and clean this area thoroughly. Examples of wet, oily residue are frying oils and release oils. Wet and oily residue can be especially problematic as the oil coats each bristle and causes other debris such as flour or breadcrumbs to stick to it until it becomes almost unusable. This can be removed by rinsing with hot water, but you'll get a much more thorough clean if you do a quick rinse with hot water, then soak the broom heads in chemical solution for 15 to 20 minutes before a final hot rinse. Chemicals suitable for this purpose are a neutral detergent or a degreaser. Please continue to watch to see how best to sanitise your brushware after the cleaning step has been done.